RS and we're headed down to Batangas Racing Circuit. The last time I took the GT2 RS to the racetrack, I crashed it. So finally the car is fixed, everything is working. We are meeting with Edgen and Winty and hopefully Tyson so that we can actually practice for the Miata series. Now I'm practicing this early because we leave for California which means I won't be able to practice when I get back and I'm gonna dive straight into the race straight into a four hour endurance race as well. The last time I took this out I did a 141.38 and that was an old tires on stock brakes so hopefully with this new setup we can beat like a 138. The whole reason for me setting up the GT2 RS into the Evo package was so that we can own the track time, the fastest production car lap time in our local racetracks. And that's our whole goal for this year with this car. For some pit stop to get some gas and then we're gonna go on our way again. We saw Jan on the highway, so hopefully he's gonna be at BRC. Hey, welcome to the Podium Hotel. So far, no check engines. We're just dropping off our food and our bag. Beautiful spot. We are on track and we are going to counter flow real quick. So the lip of the GT2 RS is way too low. I see the cars. I didn't take the I didn't take the camera out, but we have some onboard footage, and this car scares me. It genuinely makes my heart stop. I stop breathing, and I feel like my pulse is going so high. If this does not make your heart stop, I don't know what's going to make your heart stop. This this is the widow maker. It really is. Yeah. So the car is cooling down now. I'm gonna stop and take out the Miata because I think I've gotten all my angst out already. <laughs> But so far, no check engine, so we're doing well. Okay, here's my time on the second outing, 1.40.35. Not bad, not bad at all. But on the first lap on the third outing... Okay, I found it, 1.39.41, that is insane. That was my third lap on the first outing with the GT2 RS EVO, and wow, this car is a monster. I swear, this car is so scary, so scary. My heart stops, my pulse rockets, and I hold my breath because I am just trying to stay in control of a car that is out of control. This is so fast. The grip level is phenomenal, the brakes are amazing, and it's just me, me as a driver, doing consistency and not being afraid. But that's very difficult when you have a 700 plus horsepower GT2 RS EVO on Michelin Cup R tires with the Manti Racing coilovers, Manti Racing brakes, and then the tune from Elite Project Motorsport. Obviously, our beautiful livery from Second Skin, and then our lightened wheels from MV Forge. These are Dimag barrels, and everything in this car is working amazing. I also have some Vorsteiner parts in it the wing, the side skirts, and the front. That's what makes it the Evo, along with the rear diffuser. And we combined it with some 1016 parts, such as some of the carbon bits on the front and on the rear. Anyway, let's park this car first and take the Miata out because that's the main event. This was just appetizer. <laughs> This is, uh, again, the first time the car's been back since the accident. If you guys haven't seen the accident video, it was completely my fault. We went drifting, it was a little wet, and I lost control in the double back turn and basically broke a lot of stuff. It looked like a small accident, but it, honestly, it was a very expensive mistake. And I won't drift this car again unless it's older tires. Boys of Edgen have been setting up. The car, thank you to Camel Toe, was picked up from Clark Speedway yesterday and brought here by NBRC. And some slight damage, but that was from my last wall kiss. 
Si Tyson gonna make it daw. Masakit pa. Maybe his uh, stomach pa rin. Or tomorrow. Stomach problem pa rin. Stomach problem. Tyson is doctor this morning. Oh wow, that's bad ah. Eh? Oh, do you want? Best time 157.51, but apparently Tyson is doing a 54 best time. So we're so far. Check up, check up. Love, love this car. Honestly, this by far is the ultimate track toy because it's easy to maintain, it's easy to drive, and it's hard to go fast because you have to be super gentle. What I'm learning from Ezra today, the whole lesson for today is actually if I want to be faster with the car, I have to be smoother on the brake. My hair is going everywhere. It's nice and windy on track today. But yes, to be better and faster with the car, I have to be smoother on the brake, which means the braking modulation, when to trail brake, when to let off the brake, how much pressure to put on the brake, when to come off the brake. It's all part of the equation. That's why Tyson C is so fast. I hit a 5704 accidentally because that's really fast. Like even for me, that's like I couldn't get it again. After the 57, I just started losing it. I was at the 58 bracket, so hmm. but it's possible to hit the 57, and I'll try again later. prepping the car for this afternoon when it gets a little cooler we'll bring the car out again but uh, in the Miata I'm consistently doing a 57 my best lap this outing was a 57.2 and then 57.4 57.7 at least I'm consistent now a lot of the tips that Ejen has giving us giving me has been working too bad Tyson's not here Tyson's not feeling well and I don't think he'll make it but Hopefully, he can come uh, tomorrow at least to coach us in the morning half because he's doing 56. So that's like a whole second I don't know where to pull out of yet. But learning, learning today. My brake pads are Mohong Obos. the day and we were doing 140 consistently in the GT2 RS which is super good I was gonna break out of 140 but I screwed up I missed the corner and even Edgen was like you you would have had that but we're leaving now and we'll be back tomorrow so I'll see you guys again in the morning Miatas are being garage and we are going to exit here because this lift I don't want to leave <laughs> good morning Day two, heading back to the racetrack. Okay, the track is open and we're gonna take out this baby again first. See if we can set another blistering lap pace. Okay, we just did an outing in the GT2 RS and not so good. It's, it's me, I feel like 
I'm thinking too much when I'm going around track and I've only hit a 141. Um, the track conditions are nice. It's a little hotter this morning, but um, I'm pretty tired from yesterday and overthinking the, the drivability of the car and then where to drop the wheel and where not to drop the wheel rather than flowing, looking ahead. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My brain's still slower this morning. So I got to wake up. Um, the gas though is below half. Uh, I don't know if they, we have any blaze so we don't have any high octane fuel. So I don't know if I'm still going to be able to bring this car out later. But what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to drop it off with Edward to do a final checkup for the race week next, next week. And then hopefully we can clock a good time. Just did my last outing. I think this is my last outing because I'm pretty knackered already. Um, we're gonna load the car onto the camel tow, tow truck so that they can drop it off in Kibuya. We gotta change one of these studs to a full service, new brake pads, and hopefully I'll be ready for the race when I come back from Los Angeles, but I won't run the GT2 anymore. I want to do a full checkup on the car because the car is, it really requires like full strength. So I guess on that note, we are going to end the vlog. Thank you so much to the team of Asian, Windy, and Mazda, of course. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.